former Army reservist is accused of bilking thousands of dollars from members of the military community. The Pearl City man was in court today, but as our Mileka Lincoln learned, he's facing more than Ponzi scheme allegations. Mileka joins us first at five with this Hawaii News Now exclusive. Staff Chris Keone Rosa Jr. pled not guilty to one count of wire fraud and four counts of government property theft. If convicted, he faces up to 20 years in federal prison. Now, Rosa's behind bars at OCCC and has been there since February after he was indicted on charges of continuous sex assault of a minor. 36-year-old Keone Rosa Jr. is accused of performing oral sex on a sixth grader on seven occasions inside several different Pearl City restaurant bathrooms. The 13-year-old boy told police Rosa threatened to kill his family if he stopped and says he was also forced to send Rosa nude pictures. Court documents indicate Rosa was a close friend of the victim's mother. He reportedly took the boy places and bought him things. Investigators familiar with the case say Rosa was using the money he obtained through his Ponzi scheme to purchase gifts for the victim. Rosa is accused of defrauding people out of more than $20,000, which he claimed was being invested in an entertainment venture in Las Vegas. Many of the alleged victims in the Keone Rosa case were actually military people who knew and trusted Keone Rosa, who had a distinguished record as a war veteran. And so I think in their mind that this gave them a sense of comfort that their money was in good hands. FBI officials say their case against Rosa stemmed from a prior investigation involving Jason Pasqua, who was convicted of bilking investors out of nearly one and a half million dollars. Both Keone Rosa and Jason Pasqua were both Army reservists at Fort Shafter Flats who knew each other. However, it's important to note that the allegations in this case are not that they were conspiring to commit fraud, but that Mr. Rosa actually knew about Jason Pasqua's fraud and used that to generate money for himself. Rosa is also accused of writing worthless checks at the Navy Exchange using accounts federal prosecutors allege he knew were closed. Rosa is being held on a $150,000 bond at OCCC on the sexual assault charges. He has requested to stay there rather than be moved to a federal facility because his lawyer says he has a job at the jail. Mileka Lincoln, Hawaii News Now.